More fallout tonight at Loretto Hospital after executives there were caught giving vaccines to well-connected but ineligible patients. One state lawmaker is stepping away from his position on the hospital board as a result. Our political reporter, Tamon Bradley, is here with the update. Ben and Lourdes, Loretto Hospital may be ready to move on, but many questions remain about how this happened given vaccine supply shortages. This morning, Loretto Hospital was still in the COVID-19 vaccination business. ZocDoc listed the embattled hospital as an option for people searching for appointments. The Westside Hospital is still serving the community despite the city cutting off its vaccine supply after it improperly gave shots to the well-connected. The latest fallout, State Representative LaShawn Ford announced his resignation from the Board of Trustees. The high-profile lawmaker said in a statement, I am very disappointed with the recent developments at Loretto regarding its use of coronavirus vaccine entrusted to the hospital. Yesterday, I submitted my resignation to the board chairman because I strongly disagreed with how the reprimand of the hospital leadership was handled. As a state representative for the hospital and as a resident in its service area, I will continue to fight for resources for the hospital, a safety net in the Austin community. Ford is gone, but State Senator Kimberly Lightford, also on the board, is staying put. She told WGN News, I stand with the board. Loretto is in damage control mode following reports from Block Club Chicago and WBEZ that found that workers at Trump Tower, where Chief Operating Officer Dr. Anush Ahmad lives, got shots, as well as a ritzy Gold Coast watch store where Ahmad shops, a suburban church that hospital CEO George Miller attends, and county judges and family members also jumped the line. They completely went against guidance and gave vaccine to people who were not yet eligible in Chicago. The city of Chicago has suspended Loretto supply. We stopped providing first doses of vaccine. We allocate vaccine on a weekly basis. Uh, we did not provide any first doses of vaccine this week, and they won't be receiving any first doses of vaccine uh, until everything is complete here. The board reprimanded Miller and Ahmad, though they're not providing details. Yesterday, Mayor Lightfoot said the hospital must make amends. The Department of Public Health, also myself personally, have been in contact with the CEO, uh, the members of the board. They've got work to do, I think, to rebuild trust in their own community. Loretto Hospital says it's conducting a review of all off-site vaccination events and says the board has developed a corrective action plan. Not long ago, board chairman Edward M. Hogan provided a statement. We thank Rep Ford for his service to Loretto Hospital and the thousands of families we deliver care to on Chicago's west side. We will certainly take advantage of his offers to continue assisting Loretto and the Austin community in the month and years to come. Still so many questions, Ben and Lourdes. Okay. Questions not addressed in that statement either. Mm -hmm. All right, Taman, thank you.